In this video, I have taken a problem from International Metronampiad 2020. So here it is given that A, B, C, D are real numbers such that A greater than equal to B greater than equal to C greater than equal to D greater than 0 and A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 1 and we have to prove that A plus 2B plus 3C plus 4D times a to the power a, b to the power b, c to the power c, d to the power d is less than 1. So how can we proceed in this problem? So if we see here a to the power a, b to the power b, c to the power c and d to the power d, then we can get an idea of AMGM. So instead of using AMGM, if I use weighted AMGM then I am giving number A a weight of A and number B a weight of B and number C a weight of C and number D a weight of D by sum of weight that would be A plus B plus C plus D it should be greater than or equal to A to the power of weight that is A and similarly b to the power b, c to the power c, d to the power d to whole power 1 by sum of weight a plus b plus c plus d and if you don't know about weighted amgm then it is also amgm here if i use amgm between a plus a plus a plus a plus a a is a times and similarly b plus b plus b plus b and c plus c plus c plus c and d plus d plus d here b is b times and c is c times and d is d times then by number of terms when b a is a times and b is b times c is c times and d is d times it should be greater than or equal to if we multiply a a times then we get a to the power a and similarly b to the power b c to the power c and d to the power d to one power one by number of terms that is a plus b plus c plus d it is a plus b plus c plus d and if we add a a times then we get a into a so weighted amgm is the same thing and now a times a will be a square plus b times b will be b square and c times c will be c square and d times d will be d square by a plus b plus c plus d and here we have given that a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 1. So it will be 1 and it should be greater than or equal to a to the power a, b to the power b, c to the power c and d to the power d. And 1 by a plus b plus c plus d will be 1. And now we have to prove that a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4d times a to the power a, b to the power b, c to the power c, d to the power d is less than 1. We have to prove that a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4d times a to the power a, b to the power b, c to the power c and d to the power d is less than 1. So if I prove a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4d times a square plus b square plus c square plus d square is less than 1 then we are done because we have already proved that a square plus b square plus c square plus d square is greater than or equal to a to the power a b to the power b c to the power c and d to the power d so if we can prove this then this will be automatically proved so now 
we have to prove this and it is looking simple here we have a square b square c square and d square instead of a to the power a b to the power b c to the power c and d to the power d and now if we multiply a with a square then we get something cubic so in left hand side we have something cubic and in right hand side we have constant one so we know that a plus b plus c plus d is equal to one we have a plus b plus c plus d is equal to one and now if we raise power three to both side then we get a plus b plus c plus d whole cube is equal to one cube will be one and we have a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4d times a square plus b square plus c square plus d square is less than 1 and 1 can be written as a plus b plus c plus d whole cube 1 is a plus b plus c plus d whole cube so now in left hand side we have something cubic and in the right hand side also we have cubic so now we have a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4d times a square plus b square plus c square plus d square is less than and the expansion of a plus b plus c plus d whole cube is sigma a q plus 3 sigma a b square plus 6 sigma a b c and if you don't know the expansion of a plus b plus c plus d whole cube then we have a plus b plus c plus d whole cube and if we take a plus b together and c plus d together then it is in the form of a plus b whole cube and a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square so here we get a plus b cube plus c plus d cube plus 3 a plus b a square c plus d plus 3 a plus b times c plus d a square and now we can expand a plus b whole cube c plus d whole cube a plus b whole square and c plus d whole square to get the same result and now we have a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4d times a square plus b square plus c square plus d square is less than here in left hand side we have a square times something and b square times something and so on so in right hand side also if we take a square common then from sigma a q we can get a and from 3 sigma a b square we can get 3 b plus 3 c plus 3 d plus if we take b square common then sigma a q will give b and from 3 sigma a b square we can get 3 a plus 3 c plus 3 d plus if we take c square common then from here we can get c and from 3 sigma a b square we can get 3 a plus 3 b plus 3 d plus if we take d square common then sigma a q will give d and from here we can get 3 a plus 3 b plus 3 c and we have 6 sigma a b c we have 6 sigma a b c and now if we take a square common then we get a plus 2 b plus 3 c plus 4 d minus a minus 3b minus 3c minus 3d so a minus a will be 0 
and a 2b minus 3b will be minus b and a 3c minus 3c will be 0 and a 4d minus 3d will be plus d and if we take b square common then a minus 3a will be minus 2a and a 2b minus b will be plus b and a 3c minus 3c will be 0 and a 4d minus 3d will be plus d and plus c square times a minus 3a will be minus 2a and a 2b minus 3b will be minus b and a 3c minus c will be plus 2c and a 4d minus 3d will be plus d and plus d square times a minus 3a will be minus 2a and a 2b minus 3b will be minus b and a 3c will be 0 and 4d minus d will be plus 3d and it is less than 6 sigma abc 6 sigma abc and now we have a greater than equal to b greater than equal to c greater than equal to d greater than 0 we have a greater than equal to b greater than equal to c greater than equal to d greater than 0 so here we can write a square times minus b plus d will be d minus b plus b square times minus 2a plus b plus d will be b minus a plus d minus a plus c square times minus 2a minus b plus 2c plus d will be 2c minus 2a plus d minus b plus d square times minus 2a minus b plus 3d will be 2d minus 2a plus d minus b and it is less than 6 sigma a b c and now we have d less than equal to b so d minus b will be less than equal to 0 and b is also less than equal to a so b minus a will be less than equal to 0 and similarly d minus a will be less than equal to 0 and 2c minus 2a will be less than equal to 0 d minus b will be less than equal to 0 and d minus a will be less than equal to 0 and d minus b will be also less than equal to 0 so in left hand side we have something less than equal to 0 and in right hand side we know that a b c d are greater than 0 so 6 sigma a b c will be greater than 0 so here nhs is less than equal to 0 and rhs is greater than 0 so we can say that left hand side is less than right hand side hence proved